Hello, and welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today, we're looking at a mouse and mouse pad from Republic of Gamers. The first one is the Keras Wireless Gaming Mouse, and then the other one is the ROG Sheath, and this is the mouse pad, pretty big. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start with the ROG Sheath, their gaming mouse pad. It is 900 by 440 millimeters, which converts to around 35 inches by 17 inches. Let's go ahead and crack open this box. If I can. Trying. We're gonna get this, I promise. I have no nails. Feels really nice. So the bottom is really beautiful. I like the red, but you're never gonna see the bottom, so. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. This actually feels different than the table mouse pad I have. It is very smooth. And it's huge. Too big to even display it so big. This thing is crazy. So here we have the gamepad completely stretched out. It is resting on the lights a little bit on the sides, but this thing is massive. It is a really big mouse pad and I love it. I really like the design that they have over here in the corner. Zoom in a little bit on that. It's their logo right there. It's really cool looking. I like the red. This is a really nice mouse pad. I'm actually really impressed. I like it a lot. I like it better than the uh, giant table mouse pad I have on the table itself. Huh, all right, let's go ahead and get into this mouse. All right, here we have the ROG Keras wireless gaming mouse. Same name as a dagger. Don't know if it means anything, but we have a sheath and a dagger. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this up. This mouse comes in at lightweight at 79 grams. Oh, I ripped the box. 79 grams. There are minor RGB lights. The RGB lights are just gonna be the logo and the wheel. It has a 16,000 DPI setting. Ooh, look at that, it looks like it comes with some Custom switch colors, maybe. It has two customizable buttons on the left for your sum rest. We're gonna get this open. It's very interesting presentation they have on this box. I feel like I am just ripping it to shreds. There we go. Comes with a package. Interesting. It has more switches. Um, for the uh, two mouse buttons, as well as those. I think those would be the bumpers underneath the mouse. Oh, this comes off, interesting. Braided cord, nice. I feel like most mouse mice come with braided cords now. They're just really nice, good texture, very durable, so. Nice to see it. A lot of plastic on here. All right, here it is. Interesting design. You can see that it has a, an interesting slope to it. It'll be uh, interesting to try out. It is very lightweight. Good clicks. Yep, here are the pads. And then we have the button switches. It looks like these can replace those right there. So if you wanna go with a light gray or a pink, you have an option to what you want if you don't want the standard black on there. Here is the storage for the uh, wireless dongle. Just tucks in underneath right there. Pretty nice. 
mouse plug-in, or cord plug-in for the mouse. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take out some of these um, buttons and switch to a different color and see what that looks like. All right, let's go ahead and switch out some of these buttons to a different color. Here we have a fake plastic knife to prop this out. Oop, that came out pretty easy. Oh, looks like they're held in with magnets. Interesting. What color should we do? Let's throw pink in there. It'll stand out really well against the black. Man, it really is so easy to put in. It just slides right in. It's magnetized. Boom. Pretty easy to put in. Pink little buttons there. Man, they really stand out. Let's go ahead and talk about the mouse pad first. Um, one thing I really liked about it was how big it was. It covered... Um, my entire desk upstairs where I'm gaming, I was able to put my keyboard and mouse on it very comfortably. It was really nice. I also like how smooth and like silky it kind of feels on top. Um, the mouse just glides across it. Uh, it's really nice. Um, I have a another mouse pad, not by uh, Republic of Gamers, and it has. Uh, a very textured surface to it and going from that to this nice silky uh, texture was really nice I enjoyed that a lot let's go ahead and talk about the mouse after using the mouse for a bit it became a little uncomfortable to use um, my hand just sits a little bit high on it and so trying to press the side buttons with my thumb became a little awkward. Definitely the one farther back, you definitely had to um, adjust quite a bit to push that one, which became maybe not uncomfortable, but annoying just to have to adjust so much just to push it. Um, so I ended up not having a key bind for it because I didn't want to have to push it, um, which I guess says a lot about the mouse. Um, there is no texture on it at all. It's just a smooth plastic finish and there's no real like outstanding form to it. It's very generic. There's no indents or anything for your fingers to sit. It's kind of just a all around just basic mouse for, you know, the general, the general user and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, Besides that, there's not really much to say, actually. Um, thank you for watching the video and getting this far. I'm going to go ahead and play this Elden Ring little playthrough uh, of a dungeon in the background. Go ahead and watch it. Thanks for liking and subscribing to a channel, and uh, have a good rest of your day.